Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 20, yes, 20, of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time, we ran into an unfortunate incident that I'm not at liberty to discuss, but just know that I believe I'm back up to everything that I had before. I'll let you just look at all this and see if you can tell me anything I'm missing. Whatever. Alright, uh, so, yeah. Now that I'm back up to this point, and as you can see, I actually have quite a considerable amount more time left than I did before. Because now I'm just before noon on the final day. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I've done everything up to the last thing I did in the, in part 19, which was, well, not really the last thing, but the only progressive thing. It was to unlock this owl statue at Milk Road. And now, I think... Let's just move on with some more progression. As you can see, the path through Armani Ranch is once again clear, and we're going to go ahead and head on in. Because, in this episode, I would like to tackle at least a few of the things that I tried to do in episode 19, but ultimately failed to do because it was too late and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, this doesn't look nearly as bad as it did last time, because last time it was nighttime and it was all purple and evil and... Everything was closed, which is not fun either, so. Yeah. And I believe now, when we come over here, uh, we're going to have to watch this cutscene again, obviously, but. Yeah. I know it's my horse. Jeez. That's a horse of a different color over there. Not really. I'm just trying to make a stupid reference to a movie. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's great, Link, but you can't really do anything about that, so just take your puny-ass little arms over here and go open the door. Oh, jeez. Alright, so, over here, this is the Cuckoo Pen, I believe, and there is a very important thing that you want to do here. It's not vital to completing the game by any means. It's the Cuckoo Shack, fine, whatever. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. that. I just coughed there. I might edit that out if it's too loud. We'll see. But anyways, uh, come over and talk to this guy. You might recognize him from Ocarina of Time. Maybe not. I don't know. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something like that big, with something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Huh. Oh well. Nice mohawk, buddy. Kind of blocked by the next button, but oh well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The Kugo loving Grog was added to your notebook. Oh, I forgot about that notebook. I haven't seen it in a while. Anyway, so, yeah, what he's talking about is these little chickadees. You know, chickadee dee dee dodo. -do -do. oh, I'm not going to start saying that. Okay. Yeah, these little chicks, he wants to see them fully grown to roosters. Do we have anything that might be able to help him? Well, if you remember when we got this Bremen mask. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot what video it was in, but thank you to, uh, I believe it was Cow's Crazy who pointed out first that Bremen actually means it's like a reference to Brothers Grim Tale or something. I don't know. Uh, something about animals, I'm sure. I can't remember it off the top of my head. And st oh, stupid air vent. Jeez. Okay, but remember when we first got this? He said that people who followed the leader wearing this mask often matured much more quickly. So, that's what you have to do. Basically, you want to march around this entire shack, which isn't a shack, it's a field or a pen or whatever. And you need to collect all of these chickens so that they parade behind you. This can get a bit tedious and boring, but I'm not going to cut it out. Just I always want to show you where they all are, because they're... At least I hope they're generally in the same locations. Yeah, but since Link walks so slowly here, it's kind of just boring, boring wandering around. Cause especially since you have to keep the B button down the whole time, otherwise the stupid chickens or chicklets will leave you. Uh, I haven't eaten chicklets in so long. You know that gum brand? Where, 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 where is everyone? Where are all these little chick chicklets or chickadees? Or there's one. Hello. Hi, chickadee. Okay, don't walk into the wall, Link. That's not what you do. Don't stomp the chickadees either. God. Wait, there's one over there. I see it. Stupid blending into the grass. I hate how these guys do that. Alright. So there's gotta be like a ton of them over here. In this area. There's one. Cool. Yeah, you don't have to get too close to them to uh, lure them in. 
I don't care if we have to get really close to them at all, because they should be able to hear from a fair distance away, like that guy over there. He should be able to hear me, hear, hear this music that I'm playing right now. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, there's gotta be a few more somewhere around here. Ah, uh, where are you? Wait, I see one. Over way in the corner behind that bush that I passed a while ago. Stupid bush. You're just blocking my view. I hate you. I hate you, bush. I'm gonna stomp you, you know? Yeah. How do you like that bush? Stupid. Not a very good president either, are you? Or were you? Haha. <laughs> well, there's one right at the very beginning. What do you know? Alright. And I think that's the last one. Come on. No, it's not the last one, really? Okay. Well, then there's only like one more, maybe two. I don't know. Oh, I got it. Sweet. Yeah, there's... A See, they'll just start poofing into chickens now. I don't know how that works, but whatever. So let's just take them over to these to this guy, and... Here we go. <gasps> oh my god! Massive chicken crow. That was great. I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with the crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. And he gives you the bunny hood. Possibly the greatest mask in this game. My, what long ears it has. With the power of the wild spring forth. <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> and we've we solved his problem. Whatever. Okay, so here is what the bunny hood looks like. It's pretty, just what you would think, because this is actually a Majora's Mask, or in Ocarina of Time, I mean, too. And here's what it does. Notice how much faster you run? Yeah, I can run a marathon like this. Go, dunk, go, 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 go. Oh, man, you're hyped up on sugar and coffee now, aren't you? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm not going to talk like that. That was, that would be extremely annoying, I believe. All right, um, you know, I'm going to come back for that later, whatever that is. Uh, what, what time am I at right now? Seven minutes? Yeah, not bad. Alright, so yeah, with this bunny hood on, uh, you actually go a hell of a lot faster, as you can see. I'm not sure what exactly the ratio is, but basically, you, like, when you roll, it actually slows you down, so, so, I don't know, save yourself the arthritis and just go on, hold the control stick, don't even press that A button. Alright, uh, why am I running anyway? Oh yeah, I, get, I wanted to go to Termina Field, duh. Okay, so now that we have this bunny hood, which is awesomeness, I could have gotten this a lot earlier if I wanted to, but I was stupid and decided not to, so everything went slower now. But now the LP is going to go by like 20 million parts faster, now that I have this. Okay. Alright, so here's the next thing that I want to do that I couldn't do in episode 19, because this stupid thing was sleeping. Okay, this is, uh... Don't tell me you don't know about the pea hat, just remember that it's the area is soft. Yep. So basically you want to stay under it like this, and just hack away at its root. Uh, I tried to jump attack there, but Link's stupid. So he can't reach that high, I guess. S or something, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he calls on its like babies to come and protect it or whatever, it's pea hat larva. As the game calls it. God. Oh, there we go, I beat it and it explodes. Watch it go BOOM! Watch the treasure chest up here! No, that doesn't work. Dude, don't roll. Okay, and inside of here, if I can get it open, thank you, there is something very shiny and brilliant and lively and awesome. It's a heart piece, that's right. Collect four to make another heart container. Yep. Alright. Um, there's actually... I don't know, I might be able to get two more heart pieces in this episode, uh... I'm at nine minutes. Maybe even three. If I if I get really lucky, I can get three more, which will make another heart container. Oh yeah, thumbs up to that. Thumbs up, bro. You can't see me right now, but I'm holding a thumbs up towards my television screen. I am a nerd. God damn it. And I just slowly let my thumb sink back down to the controller. In shame. Okay. So, here's the next heart piece that you want to pick up. It's from this guy, with his Asian-looking eyes. Ah, uh, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a pro- It's a problem if you come in here without permission. 
Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. It's a secret to everybody. 150 rupees for one? Okay, say no here. And, as you might have seen in episode 19, it's he'll reduce the price to 100 rupees. But I kind of sped that past that text in that episode, so you may not have seen it. So that's a nice way to save yourself 50% from spending an extra 50 rupees there. Good for that. Okay, and yeah, he flies away, carrying his nut sacks or whatever they are. Oh, goodness. Go in circles, yeah, that's great. That's a lot more efficient than just heading straight up. Okay. So step into the brilliant white circle that just looks like an unrendered patch of grass or something. And stop rolling. Okay. Now, the third heart piece that I think I can get in this video will be in the, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, remember where I died in the last episode? Yeah, I died at the Dodongos Cavern. Well, not Dodongos Cavern, it's just a cave in the ground with Dodongos in it. It's not like the actual dungeon, no. But it's over here, and I died there last time when I was almost done with it. But now I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, there's Dodongos and stuff here. And, uh, actually, I'll show that off later, in a later time. Oh, don't worry. I will show you as much as I know about this game. Don't worry. Yeah, so back to the Dodongos. Oh, God, these things are massive. Look how massive they are. They're, like, bigger than a car. All right, sweet. Uh, just a moment, guys. All right, guys, sorry, but that's something randomly came up there. Uh, that always happens to me in recording, doesn't it? Don't it? But I'm fine now, so don't worry. Oh, that cost me like two and a quarter hearts there, just that interruption. Because it got me off focus from Majora's Mask. Hey, let me pass, thank you. God. Okay. Uh, maybe I should start jump attacking this guy, that might be more efficient, since it does double damage. You know, his weak point for massive damage! I don't even know where that's from, honestly. I'm, I have a feeling it's from, like, the Pokemon anime or whatever that is, but I really have no reason to believe that other than the fact that it sounds like something that that logic in that TV show would make, but... Oh, well. Alright, uh, how much time do I have left? I can't look at my timer right now, because I'm focusing on not getting killed here. Though I don't think I'm much danger from being killed, unless his tail goes to the freaking wall. Thank you. Okay, this guy's like halfway in the wall. How is this possible? Nintendo logic, possibly? Not Pokemon anime logic, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. I beat both of them, and they're gonna... This guy's gonna explode. Watch it go boom! Sweet. Another gold-trimmed chest. How lovely. I love it. And open. See what's inside. What could lurk inside? Let's invade and steal. The heart piece, yeah, that's great. Okay, so that is, oh, whoa, that's a big rupee. That was cool, that was like bigger than Link himself. I think it was a purple rupee or something. So worth 50, not too bad. And uh, I got like one and a half minutes left here, I might as well just go ahead and, there's like a mini Dodongo over there, or actually a normal sized Dodongo. Here's another giant Dodongo, kind of. Not as big as the other ones, but oh well. All right, over here, I got a comment about this. There's like random notes in the wall here. It's not like a new song that you learn or anything. It these, these notes are random every time you reset the cycle or come out of the town or something. I don't know. But basically, when you play these notes, uh, it looks like yeah, that's what happens. And a random amount of rupees will come out of that skull kid drawing up there. Stupid skull kid! Your face is everywhere. Get your face out of my place, bitch. Okay. Yeah, so a random amount of rupees will appear there, depending on what, like, what, I don't, I don't think it actually depends on what notes there are, but it might, I don't know. Okay, looks like we're just out of time here, so, next time we're gonna collect some more heart pieces, and maybe, I don't know, progress to the next area, we'll see. So thank you everyone for watching, until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.